Hey you, this is Jasim from CodeBand and in this video I'm going to talk about the controllers in Laravel. So if you are new to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon near to it. So without any further, let's jump right into it. Alright guys, so if you are very brand new to this Laravel tutorial for beginner series, then you just watch the previous videos and come back in here. The link for the playlist I'll put in the description section so you can watch that and follow along. So with that being said, in the last lecture we talked about the views and we have created some views and uh, we just play around those steps. Now I have also mentioned the MVC architecture in the last one and we have talked about the views. We haven't talked about models, which we will do in the next lectures, but in this video, we're going to be talking about controllers. Now, I have mentioned that controller is nothing but the place where you write your business logic, such as taking uh, something from the database, pushing something into the database, do some calculations, and do some redirects, which means, you know, if, if this is the case, then go to that page, otherwise go to this page, and all those complex logic business logic that your application have so all those sections will be written in the controller um, the controller section so uh, in the context of our to-do list application we have a to-do list application so we'll create a to-do controller to manage the all, all those things in to do which means we'll create a to do we'll update it to do we'll delete we'll list all to do's and all those logic will be written in the to do controller itself so suppose if this was an e-commerce website then uh, probably it will have like a shipping controller a payment controller and all those stuff now in the shipping controller all the shipping related logic will be written in that controller and in the payment section or in the payment controller all those uh, payments such as you know if, if there is paypal if there is other stuff if there is uh, the debit card and all those uh, related logics will be returned in the payment controller so uh, that's the whole idea of controller will write uh, if, if it is to do then the whole to do logic will be returned in that particular to do controller so you'll get a much uh, deep understanding when we actually implement it so we'll start by making a new controller and we'll name it as to do controller which manages all of our to do activities such as create read update delete now in order to make a new controller we'll say like php artisan make then a colon controller followed by the controller name now the controller name i'm using is to do controller so if i do save that if i do enter and it says a controller is created successfully now if we go to uh, the app folder right in here and uh, click on the http section we have a, a folder called controllers therein we should find our to do controller now this is just a class to do controller which extends from the base controller now the whole idea is we'll create separate functions uh, such as you know in the to do application we will have a function for creating a to do to do we'll have a function for listing all those to do's we will have a function for updating it to do then deleting it to do and all those steps will create separate functions right in this class or i should say methods okay so uh, what we are interested in now or what we will be doing is instead of returning a view right in here uh, the home page so let me first run my uh, server php artisan serve and sorry for the typo php artisan serve now if i come back in here uh, we'll get this default home page right in there and we got that default one now what we are going to be doing is instead of returning the view itself in the function we are going to be passing the control to this controller itself so if the home page, if, if, if we match the pattern of home page, then instead of passing the instead of returning a view, we'll pass the control to a function right in the to-do controller. So for that, I'll create a new function, a public function or method, I should say. And I'll name it as home. And this function just returns the view as it is in here in the web.php. It all just returns the same exact view so i'll copy this one here and 
I'll just paste in here. Return view welcome and uh, it has the uh, context of name code band. Now with that being said, we need to refer that very own function right in here. So uh, let me do all these steps. So if if the app, uh, if it is home page, then we'll pass the control to this to do controller and specifically this function or this method. So in order to do that, I'll just do a double quotes in here and says my controller name that is to do controller and then I'll pass an at at symbol the method name that is home so to do controller and home that's what we are referring right in here so if that is the case let me save and if i reload i get the same exact step so that is working now let me check if that is exactly working by saying it as uh, by setting a variable like if i say title uh, to set the title right, by the way it will change this title into something that we set here so I'll say title is equal to uh, to do then I'll say home for instance this is just for an example now we'll pass this title right in here so I'll say title and the value is the title okay so with that being said if I come back in the welcome.blade.php now uh, in the title section we have this Laravel right here so instead we'll do uh, dynamic uh, template syntax and uh, the blade syntax will say title and if that is the case we get to do home now this is working exactly perfect now this is a, a, a brief idea of what the controller is will uh, you know go in depth with our to do uh, application so we'll just do a home and the home method will be like listing all those to do's and in a create one we'll, we'll have one create function which is capable of creating a new to do and we'll have update and delete methods as well so we'll do all those steps in the upcoming videos so a challenge for you is in the webtel php we have a, this view right in here the about us route so what you have to do is create a new function or a new method you can say this public function about for instance this is just an example because uh, the name of the controller is to do controller we should manage the to do's here but we, we for, for the, just to understand things we'll just manage the about us page right in there so uh, all you have to do is create a new about function which returns the same exact view uh, this one uh, the, the same exact view so uh, that is a quick challenge for you to work around these uh, controllers so if you haven't uh, done that or if you fell into some errors please let me know in the comment section or if you have some doubts regarding controllers please let me know in the comment section so with that being said this is all about the video if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon near to it so thank you for watching we'll see you in the very next one